No, I don't. And in fact, just in sneaker sales this past year, uh, MJ out earned LeBron five to one, 130 to 30, five to one, give or take. And as you mentioned, he'd been retired and out of the public eye uh, for a long time. And LeBron has been dominating the NBA now for, you know, we're going on close to two decades and it's just been amazing. For several reasons, this is true. One, there was a consensus, not, unan not unanimous, but it started approaching unanimity that Michael Jordan was the greatest player who ever lived while he was still playing the game, which is an exceedingly rare thing to happen. It's not just that he was the GOAT like Tom Brady. It's that he was the GOAT and every year he was the best. He, he achieved a higher peak than everyone and won the championships and all that stuff. So there's a ticking clock on LeBron because he has not achieved that. He has not achieved near unanimity that, you know, in the consensus that that guy is the greatest of all time. In fact, more people still think Michael Jordan by a lot is the, is the greatest player of all time. So having not achieved that, lagging far behind in terms of sneaker sales, five to one in terms of what they earn, could LeBron eventually catch Michael if he continues to achieve and then the memory of Jordan fades and there's some recency bias towards LeBron? I still think the answer is probably no, because what's the amount of time between where LeBron achieves that and the next guy comes who makes people start to question, is he better than LeBron? And I would say because of LeBron James effect, now it's not just iso ball and now the best offensive players are also great passers and uplifting their teammates. That has a lot to do with LeBron. The way Tiger Woods created a whole generation of athletes now who are playing golf, right? And so, so it made it harder for him to compete later. There's that, but there's also the way the game has changed. LeBron has played through an era where shooting percentages are way up from three, but he had to adapt to that on the fly. There's now a whole generation of guys coming up who are going to be able to bomb the three at seven feet tall and have handles and pass the ball and all that stuff. So it's not like the guy who is as good or better than LeBron will come along the day he retires. It may be a while, but there'll be a ticking clock. Five, ten years later, will that be enough time for LeBron to surpass MJ, who at the moment has a sizable lead on him? I don't think so. Um, I'm not ruling it out. Um, because we're talking about LeBron James. I know how big time Michael Jordan is. He's the GOAT. He's the greatest ever in my eyes. And I think the brand Jordan has touched a bit, you know, in terms of his earnings. You know, I think it's about a billion dollars. He's definitely uh, generated more than that in terms of the, uh, the Jordan brand itself. But I would ask y'all to think about not sneakers. I would ask y'all to take a look at all the things that LeBron James is doing. LeBron James is trying to build his own media empire. LeBron James is producing movies and television shows. LeBron James got his hands in a multitude of arenas. If you're just thinking about sneakers, no, there's Jordan and everybody else. And I totally get that. But to look at LeBron James and the things that he's doing, knowing that he's only 35 years old, with what he has built and what he has established already and what he's venturing into, I think that there's a legitimate argument that could be made that potentially over the course of time, can Jordan be touched? Can Jordan be caught up to? Particularly in this age uh, of social media uh, and, and beyond? Yes, I do. When Jordan was doing what he did, uh, even though it exists now, there was no Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and all of this other stuff going on. LeBron is not only involved in that stuff, but is utilizing it extremely well to his advantage. And you see that his vision is incredibly expansive. Again, I'm not talking about sneakers. I'm not talking about his game. But when you look at the name Michael Jordan and the brand that is Michael Jordan, to sit up here in the year 2020 and say that there's no way that arguably the best player in the world at age 35, who's a three-time champion, who's already worth damn near a billion dollars himself, can't position himself to ultimately touch the stratosphere of Jordan when you consider all the things, all the tentacles that LeBron James has and what he has stuck his hands into. I don't know how anybody can say that. I definitely think it's possible. You know, Stephen A., I, I think LeBron James can touch the stratosphere. The question is, though, if LeBron James can surpass that. And I, you know, a couple of things for MJ, and Max, I agree with you on this. 
you know, ultimately, I think our country, when we think about the greatest winners of all time, we think about the Michael Jordan mindset, right? The mindset. And I know I've been on this show talking about the greatness of LeBron James. I think that mindset is challenging for people because Michael was an assassin, but he was an assassin with grace, right? The first time you saw something as amazing and beautiful as him, you know, skying in the air, like that's like that's what our NBA logo is, even though I know Jerry West is a logo, but that's how we see the best ever in the game. And I will tell you the major advantage, even though LeBron James has a multimedia empire, right? And you see that LeBron James or that uninterrupted or that, you know, that stamp on his mark. You know, the, the major advantage I think MJ has is when you think about when it goes back to the brand or about the shoe brand, think about all the iconic athletes that rep the Jordan shoe brand. This can keep him relevant for the next 100 years because they did surpass uh, $3 billion as far as revenue, right? So you had Drake rocks the brand. He signed to a deal. Derek Jeter rocked the brand. He was signed to a deal. Russell Westbrook, D. Wade, they have Jason Tatum, they have Zion. So they keep signing these new relevant trendsetters that are able to carry the lineage of Michael Jordan that keeps the Michael Jordan brand elevated. So can LeBron James touch the brand, touch the stratosphere? Of course he can, of course he can. But I don't think LeBron James will have the vehicle in place to build through Nike, a company like that, to surpass the Michael Jordan brand. I don't know if I ever see that. I think it I, – I, listen, I don't blame y'all. I think both of y'all opinions on this are incredibly sound. I'm not trying to uh, dismiss it in any way. I'm just saying that, look, guys, on many, many occasions, Jay, you've been on TV. Max, you've been on TV. We've not only lauded and praised the brilliance of LeBron James as a basketball player, we've praised him as a businessman. We've praised him as oh, yeah. an entrepreneur. We've praised him as somebody who's extended his tentacles beyond the court of play. We've talked about him as, uh, I mean, shoot, we, we've, we, we didn't talk about it, but we praised him as a father and a family man, some of his political consciousness and stuff like that, not to mention his business. Everywhere you turn, LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.